This video will demonstrate the Schoology mobile app, which you can use on a tablet or smartphone. Download the Schoology app for your iPhone, iPad, Kindle, or Android tablet or smartphone. Open your app and use your email to log in. Once you log in, your landing page is this recent activity and upcoming page. If you're on a tablet, you'll see these two feeds side by side. If you're working on your smartphone, you'll have to toggle back and forth between the two views. You'll see the recent activity in one screen and then we'll have to toggle by clicking at the bottom of your screen um, to see the upcoming feed um, in a separate screen. If you are enrolled in any parent course or group, you'll see the recent activity feed here. Since it's the beginning of the year, this particular uh, sample parent is not currently enrolled in any parent courses. The upcoming feed shows your calendar items for the classical academies as well as for your individual school and then later on for all of the courses in which um, your students are enrolled. Tap on the three little um, horizontal lines in the upper left corner, the hamburger icon, to reveal an additional navigation pane. Your name will be at the top. Tapping on your name will show your profile page. If you wish to um, edit your profile, you'll need to do so from a computer on the web platform at Schoology.com. Tap on the uh, little hamburger icon again, and then the next tab is the recent activity which we already saw, and that is your landing page when you first log in. Tap on the hamburger icon again, and the next tab is My Children. In the My Children area, you will view a student activity feed where you will see recent posts from schools, courses, and groups. Because school has not yet started, this area is blank. Tap on the Enrollments tab to view the courses in which the students are enrolled. Again, no courses are listed yet. However, tapping in the upper left corner on the Courses link shows an upcoming course. We can tap on the title of that course to open that course. And here we are on the landing page of the course, which is the Materials page. Notice in the left navigation bar, the Materials link is highlighted. You can also click on the Updates, Grades, and Members links to view those items. Tapping on the little arrow next to one of the folders expands the items in that folder. And then you can open any of these items by tapping on the title of the page. On the uh, materials page in the upcoming area in the right navigation area, you can tap on the little calendar icon to open a calendar just for this course, where you can view all of the assignments for that particular course. We'll close that, and we'll tap on the um, hamburger icon again to view the next two links. These are courses and groups. So as a parent, you um, may or may not be enrolled in um, courses or groups, Parents of students in grades K through 2 will be enrolled in those courses as members. So if that's the case, you'll see those courses listed in this course area. You may also be a part of a parent group, in which case you'll have content in the groups area as well. The resource area will not be used by families. Um, parents will be used by students in some cases. If your teacher is using the Schoology Gradebook, you can click on the Grades tab to view your child's grades. And this will depend on the program and grade level of the student. The Calendar tab is next. We'll tap on that. And the default is to view the calendar items in a list, but you can also tap on the Calendar view. And then you can see the items listed as the cal uh, in a calendar view. Notice the dots located on some of the calendar dates. Tapping on a date with a dot will, will reveal the calendar items for that particular date. The next tab is the Account Settings tab. 
here you can change uh, information, uh, personal information if needed, and you can also change your password, your Schoology password. Make sure to ch tap on the blue Save Changes button if you make any changes here. Scrolling back to the top, we can tap on the Notifications tab and make changes to our notification settings at this point. You can also tap on the Privacy Settings to make changes to who can view your profile page. The default is for anyone in the organization to be able to view your profile, but you can change that to just the school or to no one if you prefer. And again, make sure to save your changes. The last option is the log out. Um, so if you do not log out, the next time you open the Schoology app, you will still be logged in. If you want your student to log into his or her Schoology account, you will need to log out of your account and then she can log in. 